What's going on, guys? Zephanix here. So, um, I wanted to drop on two points really quick here. Number one, PlayStation Vita. Now, a lot of people actually been looking at it recently, right? And I think We Lover and The Truth actually dropped a video on it recently. Talking about the sales and how can they have posted sales and everything like that. And it just so happens that today, um, the senior director of the corporate communications and social media, aka the PR guy, actually did release a statement. He says this, quote, after months of anticipation, the U.S. launch of the PlayStation Vita saw overwhelming enthusiasm among gamers, resulting in exceptional hardware, software, and accessory sales. Customer satisfaction rates are very high, and momentum, momentum will continue as gamers get their hands on a deep lineup of blockbuster titles that take advantage of the PlayStation Vita's unique features, including cross-gameplay with the PlayStation 3. Let me put it to you this way. If in your freaking PR line, you got to try to sell the PlayStation Vita in your PR line about how much it has already sailed, that's not a good sign at all. But I will say this. Now, for those who are thinking, oh, my God, I got buzz, remorse. Nah, don't calm down. Calm down. Husa, relax, relax, relax. Okay? It's not that bad. Let me tell you something. I've actually seen a lot of companies, um, <clears throat> companies such as Sega and other companies, Capcom, are actually starting to put their uh, weight on the PlayStation Vita. Right now, you got games such as uh, Street Fighter across Tekken. You also have games such as, um, uh, what was it? Um, uh, what was that other game? Um, I forget it is. But you got some other games going on there right now. So there really is no need for buyer's remorse or to worry that you might have bought the game, you know, the system too soon. In fact, um, my, me personally, I do plan to get the system. I'm going to wait a little bit until the price comes down. But I won't wait that long. I'm probably going to wait till like between $50 and $100. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm looking for. Once it comes down that much, which judging by that guy's PR statement, I'm thinking very soon, I'll pick up my Vita then. But that being said, um, another thing I wanted to bring up too is the fact that um, was it Fantasy Star Online 2 is actually coming to the PlayStation Vita. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, are you serious? What is Zephanix? I don't even like Fantasy Star 1 Online. And, and that's fine. Um, I personally loved it, but that's fine. Here's the thing though. I don't think you're really understanding the implications of this particular situation here. You realize that this will probably be the first time that you've been able to truly play without the assistance of anything else play an MMO RPG on a handheld system with cross gameplay with the PC. Really, there's not too many games that can do that. In fact, there's no any games that can do that now I think about it. But I mean, there might be like one or two on, I don't even think there's any on the iPad. So that's something to celebrate. That's something really good, assuming that it comes to fruition. Here's the thing about Sony that I've noticed that a lot of people will promise things, but the end result is a lot different than what was promised, basically, you know? So you kind of got to take it with a grain of salt, as you got to take everything with Sony products, sadly, you know? It's just they promise a lot. They're like the Peter Molyneux of, you know, the gaming industry, I guess, or Peter Molyneux is actually the Peter Molyneux of the gaming industry, so I guess... They're Pierre Molyneux Jr. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, he quit, by the way. So, that's the one thing I want to talk about there. Now, a lot of people are also bringing up this whole thing regarding the Xbox 360 and the fact that the rumor came out that it will not have um, a CD-ROM drive on it. How did you not know this? The telltale signs have kind of been there. A lot. Oh, and there's the fact that Zephyrnix kind of said that, what we going on, two years ago? Three years ago? I've been saying it constantly. The uh, Digital distribution, no CD-ROM drive. It's going to be a tablet, you know? And Zephyrnix may not be 100% right. Well, we don't know if I've been 100% right or not. But we do know that I've been damn sure been in a ballpark. We just heard about a tablet. And I mentioned that tablet thing somewhere around way before the, um, the Wii U was even announced. But then again, all of a sudden, bang, you know? What I said about the tablet came to fruition. I also told you that, you know, all of a sudden the rumors that are starting to spread are things that I've been talking about for years now. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, I digress. Here's the situation. Everyone's asking, well, what do you feel about the ability to not be able to do backwards compatibility? Well, I would reckon, I would reckon that you would feel the same way that you feel about the other systems when you didn't have backwards compatibility. How do we feel when we bought the Sega? 
uh, Genesis, that is, and could not do backwards compatibility with the Sega Master System. Or how about the um, Saturn and couldn't do backwards compatibility with Genesis, you know? I don't get what you're saying. Keep the system that you want to play on. But that being said, I know what you're saying. Well, this is 2012, and we don't need to go ahead and keep our systems because they all should have backwards compatibility. I guess so. But here's the thing. Don't cry yourself to sleep at night if it doesn't. You know, I'm just saying. But that being said, there's always the alternative. Well, have you not noticed, you know, if you would actually pay attention to this, you probably would already know this already. But Microsoft has been kind of planning this for um, four months now, four years rather. You know, it's called being games on demand. How about take your games, go ahead and sell them back to either Amazon.com. I would recommend Amazon.com or um, GameStop. Go ahead and get your money and then put them into the digital distributed games. How about that? Now, I know a lot of people saying, oh, no, Zephyrnix, I don't want to do that. I have a lot of games. Let me ask you something. Out of all those games, how many of those games have you played in a six months time? Is there any game in there that you have not played in a six months time? I'm talking those who have like a huge library of games I'm referring to. Let me explain something to you. I, you know, I know you have, if you got, a, if you got more than, I would say, 10 games, I'm pretty sure you got something that you haven't played in a while. Hell, dude, I got games on my PC that I haven't played in a while. I got games on my um, PlayStation I haven't played in a while. Not three, six months, mind you. I haven't had it for six months, but you get the idea. Um, I got games on my Xbox I haven't played in a while. So I know you got games that you haven't played in a while. So all I got to say is that. Take the games, sell them back. And then the games that you actually want to keep, such as games like Bayonetta, I love Bayonetta, or any other games like that that you may want to keep, buy on a digital distributed format. After all, some of, the, some of us who have actually been paying attention to the gaming industry and how it folds already did, myself included. Anyway, I just wanted to go over that really fast and talk about those two things. I'm going to eat, finish my lunch here. You have a good night. Sephnix is out.